All right, I am excited. Yay, brah. Oh, yeah, see, I am excited. Oh, man, I'm really excited. So I've been watching these things for over a year at this one store. They just showed up in the store. And I get, they, they dump items, and the store just kept moving these around, moving these around, and uh, they weren't searchable. The app wasn't finding them. Finally, they added them to the roll, and they were coming up at 100. And, you know, I was at this store last week and they were doing all they're putting all their seasonal out all the um <clears throat> all their weed whackers and all that crap and i was i was staring at these at one of these and i'm like shoot should i should i just buy it at 100 and get it over with and then i went home and then i came back and uh they had all the power wheels out all clearance 100 100 to 190 all the power wheels uh, to get rid of them because they're just all big and there's new stock coming in, and I'm I I went back to that store to check out the Power Wheels to see where they're at now. They had the tank there, it was either 190, which is crazy for that tank. I walk in there and the all the Power Wheels are gone, and these were sitting on a pallet for thirty five dollars. He is just talking way too much, isn't it? Wow, wow, wow. Chat, chat, chat. Ducky, ducky, ducky. Where is the UPC? See, when I originally scanned the UPC a year ago, it wasn't coming up. It was hard to find in a brick seeker. So these are Gorilla. They have some sort of warranty. Like when you buy this, it wants to add a, a two year warranty. Mm. Um, Alright, so let's open this cracker up and uh, put it together, right? First, they put the most destroyed ones at the top, so I just like kick this one out of the bottom area. You know, they had it all piled up. I kicked this one out of the middle. You know, like Jenga style. Or whatever that left thing it's called. I done kicked it out of the middle. Because it was in some good shape. Sheesh. You know what it was? Straight up. Oh, Goddamn bum. Is it bleeding again? Yeah, it really sucks working on cars outside in the cold. Because everything you do to your hands is like exponentially worse than if it was normal. I accidentally pinched my fingers with the needle nose pliers. I pinched it and it was like, ah, oh, that hurt a little. I looked down and the skin is like, like sticking out, <laughs> sticking out like this. I'm like, what the hell? I pushed it back down and, you know, started bleeding. And then as it warms up, it starts hurting. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love it. Hey, what is this? Oh, this opens like this. Okay. All right. It says it handles 600 pounds. This doesn't feel like a plastic that's going to handle 600 pounds. All right, let's do the old dump. Anything left in the box? No, everything is in the, in the bucket. You like that? I mean, this doesn't feel as sturdy as it looked. It would. Oh, these are rubber tires. Oh, yeah. Those are big boys. <clears throat> Damn. So, I guess the, what's making this strong is these metal supports. Hmm. Damn, look at these wheels. That's some serious wheels. bearings in there you hear them you hear them falling <laughs> 10 inch turf tire inflation maximum what is a 2 2.0 psi really it 
Does that say 2 PSI? Oh, 2.07 bar. Okay, so what's the PSI? We don't know what the hell that means. 30 PSI, there you go. Not for highway use. Damn it. Well, that sucks. I'm returning this crap. It feels like there's a tube in there. Yeah, that's a, I'm pretty sure that's a tube. Because I just broke that away from the tire. Right. Not broke. It was stuck and it went snap. Or ting. These are some legit tires, huh? Damn. 35 bucks, you buy this just for the tires. Throw them on your damn go-kart. But, always remember, per what I just read, you put those on your go-kart, do not take it on the highway. Because the wheels are not for highway use. Uh, I wonder if they give you any tools. Aging, huh? It's like some glue there or something. That's weird. <clears throat> so obviously too tired to go on that. I guess we're gonna get some C clips or something. Bend one. Yeah. Okay. some visuals. Alright. So now first we're going to put the dumper on. Uh, let's see. You got your holes there, there, and then the one at the top. So we need four screws. We need to get the Vespa. How's this dude talking about? No Vespa. Well, he's got locking, uh, locking nuts on him. That's cool. Well, there they shouldn't loosen, and they won't. on both sides. So it's got to go, the nut has to go from inside out. Otherwise you have a nut inside the, the thing, you know? And nobody wants a nut inside the barrel, do they? You don't want a nut in the barrel, do you? Do you want a nut in the barrel? 
Who's gonna clean that out? You nut in the barrel, you know? Not me. Okay. Kind of hard to do this with it. theory the square of the plastic will hold it but you don't want to actually do that so you should hold it with a allen wrench you don't want to blow up the plastic do you okay So I'm going to put these in, you know, like start to stop the video or something. Ouch, damn it. You saw it, Ratchet. All right. So I'm going to get the other two in that one in. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so we got that all together. Yeah, we got those screws in. Wheel on. Like that. And now, we need to get that off. So, we our last screw. Oh. Fastener. There's no no grease to this thing. I would grease these things. I don't see any grease in there. Oh, it's using plastic as a as a buffer. I say. Anyhow, I, I would grease it anyway. See, it's actually not riding on the metal. There's there's these plastic inserts, which is what falling hit me in the deck. See, it's plastic insert, and that's what the screw is actually riding on. But why promote rust in the middle of this? And just freaking fill the damn thing with grease. Right. Oh, lefty, righty, righty, lefty, left side brain will put the bolt in from the other side. And then let's see a chicken instead of a horse. Yeah? That's what we're talking about. It's the same size nut. Yeah, why would they do that? Damn multi-sizes. The winner. There it is. Barely. <laughs> right, let's do this side. That fits. Okay. Oh, I still didn't do that. That main piece. I have to go get a. Again, it's got a lock washer on it, so you don't need to squeeze this thing. Damn it. I don't think you want to squeeze it. So you got a lock washer, so it's not going to loosen. There's no reason to get it super tight. And that's probably good. You don't need it squeezed onto the plastic. You're just going to ruin them. Then you're going to make them spin and wear them the hell out. Uh, where's that main bolt? Oh, the bolt on this I still haven't tightened. But anyway, so. Don't need to do that for the picture. So there it is. There's your. That's pretty impressive for 35 bucks, man. Yeah. It says it holds 600 pounds, but this, this plastic bucket ain't going to hold no 600 pounds. The plastic is is pretty flimsy. Uh, I wish there was a way to hold up this handle. Something to hold up there. And to dump, you know, if you got 600 in there, you're not dumping that. You're going to reach in. Just do that, you know? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Man, those wheels are pretty damn close to each other, aren't they? Damn, are they friggin' touching? Oh, because I'm in dump mode. Dumbass. And then it should have clicked back in, and it did. <clears throat> so that's pretty damn cool for 35 bucks. Hell yeah.
Plug it up.